Be prepared to be thrilled. Hi everyone, I'm back today with a updated top five thrillers. Now, a while ago, a couple of years back, 2016, three years back, I think, um, I uploaded my top five thrillers and um, that video has been the best video that has ever been on my channel. It's done the best out of all the other videos I've uploaded, probably combined. Um, but in that time, I have read more thrillers, I have enjoyed more thrillers, and although I still love all of those books mentioned in top five thrillers, my opinions have changed somewhat and I'm here with an updated top five thrillers that I think you will love. So the first book that I'm gonna talk about is a one that I featured in my last video and it's the only one of the five that was in my last thrillers video and it is Gone Girl. Gone Girl by Gillian or Gillian Flynn. Um, everybody knows this book, everybody loves this book and um, I, yeah, this is the book that got me into thrillers. I've always sort of liked a thrill um, and I've always liked a horror book and um, yeah, just like books that get your adrenaline going. But Gone Girl got me seriously interested in thrillers and I have been devouring them ever since. So um, I'm not gonna go into Gone Girl because I'm sure everybody knows what it's about, but we'll, um, we'll move on and just accept that this is probably always gonna be in my top five thrillers. The next book that I've got is this one. This is The Fourth Monkey by J.D. Barker. This is a proof copy, so the actual book won't look like this, but um, this is about a Chicago-based policeman who is on the is, who's on the hunt for the Four Monkey Killer. The Four Monkey Killer is a serial killer who's been terrorising the streets of Chicago for ages, and then he is found dead with a message in his pocket that proves that he has taken one final victim and the victim may be alive somewhere and needs to be rescued. This is a crime thriller um, and we unravel sort of the mind of a psychopath by a hidden notebook that is found. This is all at the very beginning of the book. This isn't spoilers. Um, and we just sort of delve into it and it is such an adrenaline paced rush. I couldn't put it down. I absolutely loved it. It's quite a thick book. It is quite a big one to get through, um, but it is worth it. I read it a couple of years ago and I still haven't stopped thinking about it. It was brilliant. The next book that I'm gonna recommend is a YA thriller and this is Stags. This is by M.A. Bennett and I have talked at length about how much I love M.A. Bennett's writing style and although it is a YA and I am clearly not in the YA category anymore, I'm relatively past that age now, but I still do enjoy a good YA. This is about a top private school and um, a sort of an elite club that happens sort of in the holidays and our main character receives an invite to a weekend of shooting, fishing and hunting and desperate to elevate her status within the school, she, she attends, she goes and what happens is something that nobody could have foreseen. I can't recommend it enough to you and I will go on recommending this book till the end of time. I love stacks. Next up we've got Sweet Pea by CJ Skews. Now this book is is a book with a difference. It is absolutely drenched in dark humour and if that's not your cup of tea you might not like this because there are some jokes in here and some bits that are sort of funny but also shouldn't be. Um, if that sort of thing isn't for you this might not be for you but for anyone else you have to read Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea follows Rhiannon who is a normal woman living a life, living at home with a boyfriend but she has a a secret hobby where she writes down all of the names of people that she just wants to kill and um, she gets so fed up of everybody annoying her. It could be down to the fact that someone cut her up in the car, it could be down to the fact that someone was slightly rude to her when giving her customer service, or it could be something serious such as she's reading a paper about a, um, a child molester and she wants them dead. And so she writes a kill list and she goes about her life, but then Rhiannon starts to sort of blur the lines a bit between fantasy and reality and the resulting journey is sick, it's funny, it's dark and it's really gripping. So I, I really recommend Sweet Pea to you. If you haven't already read it, you need to and let me know what you think. The final book on this list of top five thrillers is this one by Shari Le Penna. I, again, have talked about this at length since I read it. I picked this book up on a whim. I spotted it in my local shop and just grabbed it, not knowing anything about what it was about. I just liked the cover, if I'm honest, and it was on offer and I've not regretted it. I read it in pretty much one sitting and oh, wow. So this is about a group of different people who don't know each other and they all are off to this inn in the middle of nowhere for a, a weekend of seclusion. And this inn is famous for not having any Wi-Fi signal, no mobile phone signal. It's a place to get away from it all. 
But as all these different people go there, the weather starts taking a turn for the worst and um, the snow comes in. So when everyone arrives at the inn, they are very quickly snowed in and unable to leave. And then the bodies start to turn up and we don't know who it is, but it's someone within the hotel because no one can get in and no one can get out. And the sort of unraveling journey is one that you need to be a part of. I love this. Five out of five stars and the last book on my um, top five thrillers of all time. So as usual, let me know if you've read any of those. Let me know if you're going to read any of those and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.